Welcome back to Fusion Friday for Woodworkers. Today we're going to have a look at the chamfer command. Let's get straight into it. You're going to find the chamfer command up here underneath modify. Chamfer applies a bevel to one or more edges. Select the edges and then specify a distance. So it's a really simple command but as woodworkers it gives us pretty powerful features. So let's start by creating a piece of wood. We'll come into the sketch mode. We'll create a two point rectangle and we'll just create a rectangle 50 by 100. Okay. Finish the sketch and now we'll come into the extrude and we'll just give that a depth of, I don't know, 10 millimeters or so. So now we've got a simple block of wood. Now let's come up and look at the chamfer tool. So modify chamfer and this is a menu, a very, very simple menu. Now chamfer just works on edges. When we looked at the fillet tool, we could select a face. We can't really do that in the chamfer tool. It's a bit more basic in its functionality. But you select the edges you want to chamfer. We'll talk about tangent chain in a second. And then you select the chamfer type. In chamfer type, you can have equal distance, two distances, or a distance and an angle. So a very basic format will take the equal distance and I'm just gonna select this front edge. It gives me an arrow and it gives me a dimension. Bang, see that? So I can now come along and I can just create a chamfer on the edge and we make that five millimeters. And there you go, that's what the chamfer tool does. And as woodworkers, actually, it's really, really quite useful to be able to quickly put those 45 degree edges on our stock. Let's just undo that, coming down to the timeline, just rolling back on the lolly stick. And I'm gonna delete that chamfer. And let's look what else we can do. Modify chamfer. Let's look at two distances. So two distances is pretty much what the name suggests. Select our line again, and you can now see I've got two arrows. The blue arrow takes me across the surface, and the white arrow takes me through the thickness. So let's take the blue arrow, I'm gonna drag that over there, and let's make that 15 millimeters. Nothing's happened yet because we have no depth to the chamfer. When I pick up the white arrow, I'm gonna drag that down to five millimeters. You can see I've now got a chamfer that's five millimeters down and 15 millimeters across so that's pretty easy let's roll that one back and delete it so let's come back into the chamfer tool let's select distance and angle and you can now see I select the edge as always but look at the menu now I've got a distance and no surprise I've got an angle now the angle obviously sets the angle of the chamfer so if I just drag this straight through you can see that's given me a 45 degree angle on my stock. I can change 45 to 10 degrees, and you can now see it's given me a 10 degree angle on the stock. Similarly, I could change it to 70 degrees, oh, too much, um, 60 degrees, and it gives me a 60 degree angle on the stock. You can also grab this wheel here, and I can manually adjust that, and that changes in five degree increments, which may be useful to you. So 45 degree angle. And obviously I can slide the white arrow backwards and forwards. So it's quite easy now to set an angle on your chamfer. Now I can select multiple edges. So let's come out of this again. Get rid of that chamfer that we just made. Come back into the chamfer tool. And now let's select multiple edges. So I want this edge, I want this edge, I want this edge, and I want this edge. And the same thing applies. Um, come back to equal distance. I can now drag that in. And you see it gives me a nice chamfer all the way around and including these rather nice corners, which is cool. I can do two distances across those faces. So I could slide this one further in. Um, I could change the depth of that. And you can see it starts to give me that type of profile, or I could do a distance and an angle. So let's drag this in. Let's make this nice and shallow, something like a four and a half degree angle. And there you go. So you can see you can use a chamfer in a variety of ways, quick and easy just to give you a chamfer around the edges, or you can get more sophisticated by defining the degrees and the overall distance of that chamfer. 
Okay, so let's look at this tangent chain and see what that does. Let's okay that, delete all the work we've done again. And I'm just going to put some rounded edges on here so we've got some tangents to work on. And to put the rounded edges on, we will use the tool we used last week, the fillet tool. I'm just going to do it quick and easy. So I want that edge, I want that edge, I want that edge, and I want that edge. And I just want to push that back to any random curve. So I've now got some lines that are tangential to these curves here. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to pick on the chamfer tool again. I'm going to select equal distance and the tangent chain is off. So when I come along and I select this front curve here, this front line, sorry, it only selects that line. It doesn't select these curves, it only selects the line. And I can bring this in to put my chamfer on. You see what's happening? That's now cutting in to those curves. And that might be what you want. It's quite a nice shape i think but let's just bring that down to zero and i'm going to unselect that line now i'm going to click on the tangent chain now watch what happens now when i click on this front edge it selects everything all the way around and when i now put this on it's going to chamfer everything including those curved edges it's making a chain of the lines tangent to these round corners that we made and that's pretty much all that that does. And once you've done that, the same rules apply. I can do two distances. I can change the angle if I wish of this. And that's quite a useful um, little command, especially if you want to start to put those curves in. Just gonna come out of that again. Now I can do the same without the tangent chain, just set this back to equal distance. And I can come ahead and select all these edges independently of each other. And you can see, therefore, it will now do exactly the same thing. But the tangent chain is easy. It just selects the lines and the tangents around that. Now, it's not so much of a challenge when you have a simple rectangle like this. But if you had a more complicated shape that was full of curves that you wanted to create these edges on, that tangent chain will just make that a lot easier for you by selecting everything, including the curves and including the tangents. Okay. Now this also works on cylinders, which is quite useful actually. So let's create a cylinder now by creating a sketch, by creating a curve, and we're just gonna call this one, give it some dimensions. Let's just call it 40 millimeters. Um, finish the sketch. Let's extrude that up by 40 as well. So I can come in now, I can use my chamfer and I can select the equal distance, don't need the tangent chain because it's all a curve, select the edge there and I can pull that in and it starts to create that nice chamfer on the end which is actually pretty useful. So if you wanted to create some sort of dowel and show you how to chamfer an end on that, then that is really useful. Something else that's useful inside this is if you were to use the distance and the angle, sorry, the distance and the angle, and I'm going to change this to a 10 millimeter. I'm going to stretch that in, and I've got this very, very, very shallow angle. Now I can really change the angle on this, and basically I can bring all the way down here to create some sort of cone shape, which might be useful, I guess, if you wanted to model a pencil, and that's really good as well. So that's it, that's the chamfer command inside Fusion. We use it for putting chamfers on the edge of things. Hope you find this useful, I'll see you next time on Fusion Friday.